May 2023 will be an exciting month for astronomy lovers, with several notable celestial events taking place throughout the month, including meteor showers, moon planets conjunctions, and a lunar eclipse. So it is safe to say that you can see a lot of really cool events. You don't want to miss other videos about our endless universe? Then like this video, follow this account, and turn on the post notifications. However, let's start with the first two events of the month. On May 5th, you will be able to see the first full moon of the month, and on the same day you can see a penumbral lunar eclipse. A penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's partial shadow, also known as the penumbra. During this type of eclipse the moon will darken slightly but not completely. The eclipse will be visible throughout all of Asia and Australia and parts of Eastern Europe and Eastern Africa. On May 6th, the Etia Aquarids meteor shower will have its peak, and you can see up to 60 meteors per hour. It is produced by dust particles left behind by Comet Halley, which has been observed since ancient times. The shower runs annually from April 19th to May 28th. It peaks this year on the night of May 5th and the morning of the May 6th. The nearly full moon will be a problem this year, blocking out all but the brightest meteors. If you are patient, you still should be able to catch a few good ones. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Aquarius, but can appear anywhere in the sky. On May 8th, Venus is at the highest altitude in the evening sky. You can't miss it. Look in the sunset direction on any clear evening around now. When it's this bright, Venus appears as an bright eye-catching dot in the evening sky. The lighted portion of the planet will cover its greatest area on our sky's dome, so it's around this time that Venus appears at greatest brilliancy to the eye, and you will have a wonderful view. On May 9th, Uranus is at solar conjunction. Uranus will reach its farthest point from Earth and will lie on the opposite side of the Sun. The ice giant will remain hidden in the Sun's glare for several weeks to come. After that, it will start becoming accessible as an early morning object in the East. On May 13th is the morning Saturn-Moon conjunction. That means the Moon appears with Saturn in the southeast before sunrise. Saturn is slowly climbing higher into the morning sky. Nearly three hours before daybreak, it gains two or three minutes of rising time compared to sunrise each morning. The Moon continues its eastward hop each morning, appearing noticeably eastward compared to the planets and distant stars. On May 19th is New Moon. That means the moon will locate it on the same side of the Earth as the sun and will not be visible in the night sky. This is also the best time of the month to observe faint objects such as galaxies and star clusters because there is no moonlight to interfere. On May 23rd is the conjunction of Venus and the moon. The moon and Venus will share the same right ascension, with the moon passing to the north of Venus. Our natural satellite will be for days old. At around the same time, the two objects will also make a close approach, technically called an appulse. And last but not least, on May 29th is the best time to view the planet Mercury since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the morning sky. Look for the planet low in the eastern sky just before sunrise. And for the end of the video I have a little question for you. Which of these events do you want to watch? And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss more videos in the future, because I will make a video to the best astronomical events in every month. Okay, that was enough about myself, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I also hope that I... See you again.